Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and hi if you are new. My name is Meredith and today I am so excited to share with you my very first outdoor clean with me video. I got so much done in this video, did a really fun project to spruce up my mailbox and planted a bunch of flowers. And I am also so excited because this video is a collaboration with my friend Melanie here on YouTube. You guys are going to love her channel. Her content is very similar to mine. She makes lots of cleaning and homemaking motivation. She has the sweetest little boy ever and I know that you guys are going to love her videos so make sure you guys go over and check out her channel after you're done watching my video and show it some love be sure to subscribe to her channel and definitely let her know that I sent you and if you are coming over from Melanie's channel welcome I am so happy to have you and let's go ahead and jump right in so the first project that I'm sharing in this video is how I spruced up my mailbox. It was so dingy and gross and it really just didn't look very cute. The bed around the mailbox had been kind of destroyed over the years. There was nothing really growing in there anymore. So I decided to take matters into my own hands and give it a really good scrub. I decided that this would be way cheaper than replacing the entire thing. I didn't want to um, have to spend the money on getting a new post and a new mailbox and all that stuff. So I figured I could just repurpose what I already had. So in the bucket you just saw, I was putting a little bit of a solution called TSP. You can get it at your local hardware store, but it works really, really well for cleaning off wood and brick surfaces. It says that you can also use it in a power washer as well, but it's a heavy duty cleanser and you you can see some of this green algae or I don't even know what it is growing on the post but just a little bit of scrubbing with that and some hot water and it came right off I also used a solution on the inside of my house to clean up my bricks before I painted my fireplace it just works really well to get rid of stains and grime and you do want to make sure that if you are using it you are wearing gloves you don't want to get it on your skin I probably should have been wearing goggles too or something like that it didn't really spray that bad but you just want to make sure that you are being really protected since it is a chemical you will see as I go throughout this project that I was able to repurpose a lot of the things that I already had on the mailbox just to make it look a little bit better so at the end of this project I will let you know how much I spent in total I definitely think that I saved money by doing it this way instead of just replacing everything and I think that sometimes that's the best way to do things on a budget box had these vinyl stickers on it that had the house numbers so I just had Jack use a little bit of lemon essential oil and some dish soap to clean those off and then he just lightly sanded down the mailbox just so that it was ready for paint this mailbox was in pretty good shape it didn't have any dents or anything it just needed a new coat of paint so I got a can of rust-oleum spray paint in black and um, if you're going to spray paint your mailbox then you probably want to get a high gloss or a glossy finish most mailboxes have that kind of finish and it really only needed about two coats had to let the mailbox dry as well as the post after I gave it a scrub and so this is the second day and you can already see how much better that mailbox post looks it doesn't have any of that green gunk on it anymore and we started out this second day by taking a lot of those stones from around the mulch bed or I guess what used to be a mulch bed it had been super neglected and so several of those stones were actually buried underneath the dirt my yard is so sloped that it washes and so a lot of the stones were buried and I had to actually dig them out so I decided instead of getting all new stones which would have been very expensive these were like a little bit over a dollar a piece I decided to repurpose and use most of the stones that I already had and get just a few new ones to spread around to make it look fresh without spending a ton of money so I wanted to clean up the stones that were super dirty some of these were ridiculously caked in mud so in this bucket I am using the same TSP solution and some warm water again I'm wearing gloves to make sure that I don't get any of it on my skin and my gloves actually have those little silicone scrubbies on them so I can kind of scrub it while it's in the bucket this water got so dirty so fast but it really really worked to clean these up and make them shiny <laughs> I get a 
It was also super sunny and warm on this day. I feel like it may have taken a little bit longer if it hadn't been so sunny. I had to flip the rocks over to make sure that they were dry on both sides. I didn't want to stick them back into the dirt wet and create more mud that kind of would have defeated the purpose of cleaning them but then we were trying to kind of figure out how many stones we needed around the whole thing and how we were going to spread the new ones out we wanted to make sure that we had enough so that it was somewhat symmetrical and then after we did that then we were ready to spray paint the post to give it some time to dry and so I went with a white color if you guys know me I'm pretty much obsessed with anything white I also figured that this would match the house really well I am very excited to be sure sharing with you my home renovation video for the outside of the house very soon. You do get a few sneak peeks in this video, so if you can see my house in the background, then get very excited for that video as well. But I went ahead and spray painted this white, and I went with a matte color for this. This is just regular white Rust-Oleum spray paint. And for some reason, I thought we were gonna need two cans, but we ended up only needing one, so this was very inexpensive to do. You're no good for me with so bitter sweet but i still want you i do baby can't you see what you do to me i just can't resist you you got me drunk in love drunk in love i can't see i need to sober up sober up from this dream but i can't be na 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 once I was finished spray painting and everything was dry, I went ahead and just cleaned up the curb here a little bit. Even something like this where I'm just sweeping and getting some dirt out of the way makes a huge difference for your curb appeal. It took very little time and looks so much better. We are attaching the base for the mailbox. All of these mailboxes, um, if, when you buy them or if you repurpose them, usually have some kind of base that the mailbox sits on. So we're just re-screwing that back into the post. And then we're gonna move on to my favorite part, which is planting the flowers. You're no good for me with so bittersweet, but I still want you, I do. Baby, can't you see? We had already removed quite a bit of dirt and most of it had already been turned over at least once, but I think it is really good to turn your dirt over a couple of times before you plant just to make sure that you have everything aerated really well and then you can get ready to start digging your holes. So I got several different types of flowers from the hardware store and I am putting seven on each side. So I'm just going to dig one hole at a time. I did three in the front and then four in the back. And I don't actually think now that everything is finished, I don't think I'm actually done yet. I really kind of want to put a couple of other flowers or plants or something in the back there behind where the actual mailbox is, like where the post is. I'm thinking something taller for a little bit of height might look really nice. These are annuals, so they will die after this year, but I just didn't want to commit to anything, especially because um, if you're into gardening, then you know that most bulbs don't plant in the summertime. You plant them like in the fall or in the winter and then they come up in the spring so I wasn't ready to commit to anything too serious so these will just last for the summer and then in the fall maybe I'll reconsider what I'm gonna plant here but this was definitely a good start in case you guys are wondering what types of flowers these are I got purple petunias and then the other two kinds of flowers are um, impatience some of them are pink and then some of them are purple so I kind of tried to space them out so that I had um, like a mirror image on each side of the mailbox they look at me I'm in a bad situation look at him he's got a bad reputation they be looking at us thinking we are too much Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us mm. 
What? These kinds of flowers that I picked out work really well for partial sun, but they can also tolerate the heat and the sun if it is in full sun. The front of my house here gets really bright sun like this in the evening. This was about like five o'clock. Usually in the evening, it gets really sunny here in the front, but in the morning, it's pretty shady. So you definitely wanna make sure that if you're getting flowers for a certain spot in your house, that you pay attention to the sunlight just so that you are getting flowers that match the type of sun and water that it needs. Got a history. But I don't want to think about no other than us Now we are just reattaching the mailbox It only took a few screws to attach it to the bracket that we had already put on there And then after that I was debating whether or not I wanted to put those vinyl numbers back on the side of the mailbox. I just didn't think that that would look as good as putting on actual house numbers on the mailbox post. So that is what I ended up doing and I'm only gonna show you guys installing one of them because I don't wanna put my whole house number on the internet. But these were super easy to install. They came with two small screws and they look 10 times better than those peel and stick vinyl numbers. I just really love the way that this looks. And then we were ready to start putting the stones into the ground so we dug like a small little trench kind of around the outside just so the first layer of stones would fit really securely especially right up here in the front along the curb line and this was the way that I saved the most money I think in this project is um, each one like I said earlier each one of these stones was a little over a dollar so all of these stones here on the bottom layer were ones that already existed um, like when I bought the house they were already there so I just cleaned them up and repurposed them and you can see they look a lot better even just being cleaned up so all the ones on the bottom layer were the old ones and I just took the rocks all the way around the entire bed and this corner here where I'm digging is actually where there were no rocks before they were so buried in the dirt and then on the front or on the top layer I did a pattern I did one of the older rocks and then two new rocks in a pattern and then that way it just kind of made it look a little bit newer and a little fresher but I did not have to buy that many brand new stones so I did this entire thing for somewhere around $15 <laughs> part of this entire thing was making sure that the pattern matched up all the way around so when I started to get back around to the front where I started I noticed that the pattern was going to be just a little bit off so I had to adjust just a little bit to make sure that everything fit perfectly it took a little bit of finagling as you can see but we eventually got it figured out and it looks so much better Spreading the mulch was actually my favorite part of this entire thing. It just took the project to the next level. I opted for a really dark colored mulch. I actually think this was called black mulch. I think it just really pops against the white post and then it matches the black mailbox really well. And we just got like a small bag. I think this was one cubic feet and it filled this entire area really nicely. And then I'm just making sure that I spread it around all of the flowers nice and evenly. I don't want to bury the flowers too. So I'm just trying to be really gentle and I think that this looks so much better when it was done. Guys, this is what the project looked like when it was totally finished and I am obsessed with how it looks I wish I could show you all the side with the numbers it just looks amazing but let's talk about how much this project cost it was pretty inexpensive I only bought two cans of spray paint and those were about three dollars a piece so I was able to repurpose the entire mailbox I saved a lot of money on flowers because you'll see in just a minute I use half of the flowers in pots and then the other half here in the mulch bed the mulch was somewhere around ten dollars for that small bag and then fifteen dollars for the new rocks because I was able to reuse so many of the old ones all in all this project came in at under $50 and it brings the curb appeal to a whole other level now we're moving on to the potted plants and I'm gonna put in the front of the house 
These two giant pots here are amazing and they were actually left by the previous homeowner so I got pretty lucky there. I didn't have to buy the pots but they had a ton of soil in them that had probably been sitting in there for a very long time. This type of soil is really really good. You never really want to throw out all of your soil. This was too much soil for repotting some plants so I just took a little bit out of each one but you can see just by the color that there is so much nutrients and stuff in the soil so you definitely want to try to reuse potting soil when you can and in the blue pot I decided to put in a larger arrangement I could have done a bunch of small ones but I found this one and it was perfect size I believe these flowers are called begonias I think that's how you say it but you can see that there are there's actually three colors there there's like a fuchsia a coral and then the purple ones actually hadn't started blooming at this at this point once i repotted this thing it perked right up i put a little mir miracle grow on it i think the next day and it just looks so beautiful now i'm obsessed with all of the colors and i was able to reuse a lot of this potting soil here and then i decided with the remainder of the smaller flowers that i had from the mailbox project i was going to put them in a smaller pot so this small blue pot I already had as well so I saved a little bit of money by reusing pots if you take care of your pots you should be able to repurpose them so I just added a little bit of new potting soil with some of the old composted soil and then in this small pot I put one of the petunias one of the pink impatience and one of the purple impatience and then the rest of them I use down by the mailbox so this is a great way to kind of spread out your plants and get the most bang for your buck. on the stairs where I wanted them to go I just needed to give them a quick sweep and these steps get so dirty all the time you can probably tell by the shadows in this clip that I have a lot of trees in my yard especially in my front yard and so a lot of times little droppings from the trees will fall on the steps or branches and things like that so I feel like I'm constantly out here sweeping I also decided to get rid of this mat it had gotten like really moldy I'd had it for so long and I just need to be better about changing those outdoor mats more often especially when it rains they just just stay full of water and then get really mildewy so it was definitely time to replace that and then it felt so much better to get those steps cleaned off they were really dusty I honestly have no idea what this plant is here that is completely dead when I bought the house it was dead like this the other side has hydrangeas so I'm almost wondering if this was a hydrangea plant that just at some point died and so I just took it right out there was no need to keep it in there any longer I have lived in this house for almost a year now and there is so much stuff that I just really want to take care of that I have dealt with for so long so it felt really good to take that out and then I was trying to figure out how I wanted these pots where I wanted them to go on the stairs took a little bit of finessing but we finally got it figured out and that is gonna be it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe especially if you are new don't forget to check out Melanie's video and show it some love and I will see you guys again very soon in a brand new video bye guys I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you if only you knew I would die for you one of us one of us gotta save the